God damn, is it chilly outside. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Valhalla. Last we left off, uh, unfortunately, we met Stella at a very poor timing in her life. Um, our first nice customer, our first nice customer, uh, Say, has gone missing. She's not confirmed dead or in any of the body counts that they did for this because um, of the whole bank hostage situation that was happening. They leaked a whole bunch of information and uh, the White Knights, which is like their mil paramilitary group or something like that, um, went on a rampage. And so even the citizens of Glitch City were lynching them at on site. So here's hoping that maybe Say wasn't one of those. I'm bad, huh? What would a kid like you know about that, huh? I'm just giving you the facts as they are. What happened while I was gone? Let's see... Detective guy comes in, cat boomer girl greets him, they start talking... Everything was okay until the girl mentioned Zaibatsu core offhand. After that, the guy got riled up and started badmouthing it. Oddly enough, he was the only one. She just carried on like it was just a normal conversation. I see. Well, I won't deny Zaibatsu Core is anything but innocent. When you get down to it, it has enhanced the quality of life here. Uh, if by enhanced, you mean getting yanked around by a shiny new chain around our necks. Can't you see that those big companies don't care about us? Why do you gl think Glitch City is mockingly called the guinea pig of the world? We're just one big test group for them to use however they want. But then again, I don't expect a kid to understand how hard it was, let alone a rich kid. True, I don't know, and true, I have a privilege that clouds my judgment, but can you deny that the meddling of Zaibatsu Corps has brought quite a few benefits? Like what? The AI integration program they started is making huge advances in the AI department. Every day, more and more countries are seeing the benefits of recognizing AIs as citizens. Yes, but we also hold the AI reformation program, meaning that we're also the world's Lilum prison. AI went rogue, transfer it to a delivery drone or ship it to Glitch City. That murderer is now delivering your pizza. Fair point, although that program has proven to have reformed many AIs, they don't brag about their 88% success rate for nothing. Um... The city also has a stronger economy. Zaibatsu Core's success has made more and more companies bring their products here. And the gap between classes continues to grow. More companies just mean more people who will plant their feet on your face. But it also means more products are being brought to the lower classes. Stores have 20% more brand variety compared to last year. Uh, Zaibatsu Core's main medical research branch has also made lots of discoveries. More and more illnesses, previously thought incurable, are being addressed every day. It's amazing for those who can afford them. Meanwhile, down here, we're experiencing, experiencing medicine shortages almost every month. You have a point there. Oh, but there are also more jobs. All of the companies coming down here need personnel, so the unemployment rate has gone down by almost 40% this year. More jobs? Shut up. Am I wrong? Well, that's... Mm. Hey, you, don't just sit there. Give me a Zen Star. Sure. Let's make a Zen Star for the sore baby. Yep. Uh, four of each ingredient. Easy enough. Oh, whoop. Wait, one, two, three, four. Okay. Two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The music stopped all of a sudden. I know exactly why this happens. Uh, all on the rock stand mix. Here. God, this is awful. It's your order, though. I seriously hope you don't really believe everything you just said. Of course I do. Why else would I say it? You do bring up something I always fail to remember. All the benefits we've gained over time are limited to a few. I can talk about advances all I want, but in the end, there's still a luxury belonging only to a few. And even those that can be accessed by everyone are more like an improvement in the bigger picture. That doesn't take away the fact that there have been positive changes. Credit where credit's due, don't you think? That's a pretty mature answer. Discussions are a way for two parties, parties to understand each other. The only people afraid of discussion are the ones whose points are too fragile to defend against someone. Yeah, mature, whatever. 
I'm gonna take the chance to ask you about the job, that job I gave you yesterday. I haven't been able to find much, but I can at least tell you that she wasn't at the bank when it opened up. What does that mean? Either she left before the whole ordeal started, or she managed to escape at some point before the whole thing ended. All the corpses are accounted for. They only found one totally disfigured, but witnesses identified it. It wasn't your friend. That much is for sure. I see. Did you call him here? No, he just happened to come here today. The weird part is that the girl did enter the bank. It's like she vanished or something. I see. Thanks, keep it up. Your face brightened a bit. Hope is the last thing you lose, I guess. If he's telling the truth, Say might have found a way out. She's a resourceful girl, she surely did something. I think I'll have another drink. Do you want anything? Me? Um, just give me whatever you order. Two bad touches, please. <coughs> On it. <laughs> Two bad touches. Better make them before I laugh too hard. Uh, yes. Well, at least we know that somehow our first nice customer managed to disappear. Um, maybe she's involved with, um, with, uh, Gil. Maybe that's a thing. Maybe she's not, maybe she plays, like, the dumb girl. And, in fact, all she's really doing is doing something behind the backs, like some sort of revolution. I mean, that's a bit of a stretch, but, you know, whatever. Hmm. I remember this one party I went to. The guy that came up with the name of this drink showed up. After people found that one out, they lined up to slap him for whatever reason. They didn't seem offended to me, though. Imagine a guy shows up and tells you, I made a classy bad touch. Wouldn't you line up to slap him? Um, are you okay, Jill? I'm... <laughs> Fine. <laughs> now that I think of it, did you find that girl you were looking for a week ago, Mr. Von Delay? Turns out she was at the Apollo Trust Bank all this time. No wonder I couldn't get in touch with her. Girl? Someone paid me to look for a Crimson Rose and she happened to be at the, um... What? I'm trying to avoid mentioning that a dangerous assassin got stuck in the same bank as the girl you're looking for. Ah, uh, don't worry. Besides, the last thing I'm worried about with Say is people. Why's that? Her attitude is usually so laid back and gentle that she has no problem getting people on her side. And on the off chance that she has to defend herself, well... I once saw her take care of a war robot gone haywire by herself. She didn't need medical help afterwards, but she recovered in no time and managed to take care of the bot. Is she really that good? She's not only really physically fit, she's also really good with Krav Maga and... Something wrong? No, nothing. I just realized I forgot all about all that. Say's not invincible, but she knows how to take care of herself. And like I said, she's resourceful. She surely found a way out. I just hope she's well, wherever the hell she is. She owes me an ice cream. You want another drink, Mr. Von Delay? It's on me. Are you sure? Yeah. Order away. Okay, then. I'll have a piano man. And you, Miss Stella? I'm fine. Get his order. Ooh. So, she's, um... So, it seems our first nice customer, also known as Say, is, um... How should I put it? It seems she might actually be fine. She might have just gotten tied up with an assassin, and because she realized that the person was an assassin... Because, look! Okay, I'm gonna go on a bit of a tirade while I mix this drink, but... Think about it like this. She was able to see that um, Dorothy, in a few episodes back, maybe I'll put a flashback here. She was able to see that Dorothy's fingertips, something nobody noticed, were like actually um, guns, a class 5 gun. And she was like, you know, I'm not on duty, so I won't arrest you or anything. I'm just letting you know, maybe you should get finger caps instead. And like, so maybe she noticed that the assassin that Mr. Von Delay mentioned is actually, you know, um, is she, maybe she noticed this assassin was like, hey, you know, this is a bit of a shit situation. If you find a way out, maybe I have a friend to get back to, maybe, you know, something like that happened. But we'll see. Maybe we'll fight, figure it out later. Here. So this is what drinking something classy without worrying about the price feels like. 
Alright, I should get going. My contact will arrive at the rendezvous point soon. I'll let you know if I find out anything else, Miss Hoshi. Please do. Right then. You've been generous today. He made my night with his discoveries on Sei's situation. I'm not totally over it, but at least I got distracted for a bit. She is adorable. How could anyone make fun of her and her eye? She is adorable. Well, that's it for me. Good night, Miss Hoshi. Thanks again. Please, come again. You don't mind if I stay a bit longer, right? Why would I? It's not like you're asleep. <laughs> Thanks! This place is soothing. I'll just go sit over there near the arcades. Alright then. That would be all, Dana. Uh, quite a mess, the situation with, um, Robert. Oh, I don't know who this is. Brian, you have a meeting in an hour with MI6. I'll see. Right, right. Oh, if, if it isn't Miss Hoshi herself. Ah, Brian, fancy meeting you here. I didn't expect to see you here of all places. Um, are you busy? Mind catching up for a bit? Sure, no problem. Uh, Jill, we'll be sitting over here. Uh, let me know if you need anything. Well, we'll do. Hmm, um... This holophone is an old model, so hanging up is a bit laggy. You can call me Cass, by the way. Uh, I'm Jill. S say, you guys give a lot of liberties to my boss. I mean, she gets away with too much stuff. She's not hurting anyone, and wouldn't you say it's more interesting that way? It finally hung up. Ah, <sighs> it's been quite the day. At least the streets are calm. Today, I have... Oh. I have... Oh, no, wait, no, I remember this. I have... I have... <sighs> arrived yet again. At the... <coughs> oh, God. At the Majestic Hall of Heroes. Calm until now. We meet again, bartender. You look winded, Virgilio. It's pronounced Vir Hebrio. No, I'm pretty sure it's Virgilio. You said as much the last time you came. Pronunciation. Oh, a silly thing. Society imposes on letters. They want to be free. They want to be pronounced however they want. Uh huh. You look winded, Fear Helio. We are all little toys, winded by the cruel hand of fate. I'm actually lightheaded, I shouldn't have tried to imitate his breathing. Just stumbling until it decides not to wind us anymore. And yet, you're the only one in the vicinity hyperventilating. That's, um... I was jogging. Dressed like that? I can jog however I want. Yes, you can. What can I get you? Something fake. Of course. Fake. Uh, something fake. There we go. Alright, let's start with it. Alright, here we go. Here you go. Now, tell me why this is fake. Because I didn't even try? Your expectations of me giving a damn about the abstract order are fake. Bravo. Brilliant. Say, there, Helio, where do you work? I take the noble duties of curator at the Steampunk Museum. Really? What do you do? I study everything that comes and keep it clean for the people that visit the premises. But lately my duties have been hindered by the museum's owner. Really? Yeah, he told me, stop touching the exhibits, you're gonna break them. The nerve of some people. Uh? He still fails to realize that I'm the curator there. Without me, all those machines would be rustier than they already are. Uh, even the visitors get that. I'm the one responsible for those. Why can't the owner realize that too? Yeah. I bet he treats you like a janitor or something like that. Exactly. Okay then, time for your next challenge, bartender. Challenge, he says. I want purity. Mm, he wants purity, I can't give him pure ingredients, so... Um, we'll give him, what's that one drink? Uh, Alright, we're just gonna give him the, uh, the fringe weaver, because as far as purity gets, I mean, it's almost like drinking pure alcohol. Oh, whoops, we're gonna have to reset that. How is this pure? 
It's a drink. It's free from any human sin. It can do no harm consciously. Ah, yes. Beautiful. Uh. Hmm? Hey, you. The guy over there. Me? Or me? Yes, you. Have we met before? Can't remember. Maybe? Yeah, I think... Uh, no, 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 no. We haven't met ever at all. That's an interesting reaction. Mm. Ah, Jill, I'll be taking my leave now. Be careful out there. Thanks. Huh? Excuse me, have we met somewhere before? That face, that eye. What about my eye, punk? We haven't met ever at all. Never, ever, ever, ever. Good talking to you, bartender. Um, did you just scare off a client? Apparently. Well, I'm off. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Are we done for the day? Yep, quite a few clients considering the whole situation. Oh shit, that Virgilio guy. So you two actually met before? Yeah, you could say that. What? What? Gil, stuff. Don't mind it. What were you talking about to Brian? Well... We were mostly catching up, to be honest. I hadn't seen him in a while. I offered him a drink when we last when we met last week. I talked a bit about what to do after the bar closes. Oh, and I tried to uh, explain the situation with Robert here. He agreed to help me out with that one when the time comes. Ah. Oh. I was also tuning up the details for the new employee. New employee? A part-timer. You'll meet him tomorrow. Oh. Him? So it's a guy? An adorable guy, if I do say so myself. Uh, I suddenly have deja vu. Are you alright, Joe? Yeah. It must be nothing. Alright. So there we go. This one might be a bit longer than usual. I forgot to... Uh, I have a timer. I usually run it whenever I'm doing these, and I just kind of went on until... Because I just finished a break, so it should be like maybe 15 minutes long. Who knows? So total earnings is 20 grand. Uh, drinks total is 1,280. We made zero mistakes. Zero mistakes! Like PewDiePie gets zero deaths. Our commission is 30%. Today's payment is $384. We made $1,150 in tips. We got a flawless service bonus. And Brian, Brian told me to give you this, which was $500. I guess that's his own tip. So today's total is 2,534. At this rate, we won't have to worry about our um, electrical bill and might be able to buy something. Yeah, and it looks like we already have... It seems we've probably preemptively bought a lot of things. Who knows? So, alright. I think that's it for now. Uh, Jill talks to Four, her cat. Four, I need I need some me time. Four says, use the bathroom. <laughs> alright, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!